with some good tips and early in the season people aren't even wrapping their gifts mm -hmm. yet. I mean some are those people that work way ahead. The person or, next to you, I'm sure. Or, or maybe have one no. or two, but not all of them. Come on, most of us got, got the meat of it to get to still, right? That is very true. I had not started gift wrapping anything, but I wanted to meet with Chelsea just to make sure that I was on the right track because, yes, do not want to contribute to that waste. We are talking also about being in the rainy season, so you got the combination of everyone celebrating out there. We have the holidays here, but we also have to be mindful that a lot of that does travel when we get storm systems moving through. Even if we don't have rain we still get those winds and so winds can also pick up some of that waste so just be mindful especially this week as we are looking at a few chances now we have cloud cover that is building in that is the case when you're looking west from san miguel and a current temperature of 58 degrees for downtown with the mostly cloudy skies and also some light winds for now but we are looking at those gusts picking up into the 20s and even potentially up into the 50s as we go through the next couple of days so when you're taking a look at temperatures we're on the cool side feeling like the holiday season out there so we are bundling up when it comes to those 40s, especially for overnight lows, you're at 48 degrees. That's what's expected for Escondido. 48 degrees expected to be the overnight low for Poway, as well as 40s for El Cajon and for La Mesa. 50 degrees for downtown, the same for Del Mar. 55 degrees, the anticipated overnight low for Encinitas, as well as those 30s and 40s across the mountains. So cooler, gusty, chances for showers return to the forecast with an area of low pressure that looks to move in. It's a cold one, so that's going to help drive down that snow level. Now it looks a little bit more favorable for San Bernardino and Riverside County Mountains, but that snow level coming down near about 5,000 feet, we could see a half an inch to an inch of snow. So around that point, and then also talking about those chances for showers. Once again, that key time frame, I just really want to put it in there. About 3 p.m. tomorrow to 11 p.m. is when we're expecting the most active period. So during that time, that's when we have chances for showers in the forecast, and we're not done just yet. Another chance by Sunday with another storm system moving in. So this area of low pressure sagging a little bit more towards the south, bringing in that moisture with that westerly flow. So chances are going to be there for tomorrow all the way through Wednesday morning. And then we hit a lull, but you're noticing that we still have a dip in the jet stream. So that will also bring in the cooler air. And then we have yet another storm system that's going to be sent in our direction across the west, bringing in chances yet again. And that's going to be on Sunday for showers. You're seeing that in the forecast across the mountains and towards the west, but dry for the desert and cool. John.